Okay, I've got a question here. This is from Jim from Minnesota. Uh, where, what makes a good bobcat cage trap, and where can I order one? And that's a great question because it's not something that it's always going to be common when you start looking around. There's a lot of raccoon traps. There's a lot of things like that. For anybody who doesn't know who I am, I'm, I'm Clint Locklear. I'm, a, I'm owner of Predator Control Group. If you'd like a lot of trapping information, you can check us out at wolfernation.com, which is a massive trapping website information based and we also do a weekly podcast on trappingradio2.com well, let's get back to the question here what makes a good bobcat cage well you can catch a bobcat in a big raccoon cage there's no doubt about that there's been a lot of that done it's just not as effective because you're asking the cat to do something that it would probably rather not do which is duck literally when he's on all four feet and he's going to have to duck so a good bobcat trap to me is going to be somewhat narrow. The guys that really catch a lot of bobcats in cages, when you look at their equipment, they're always saying they like a narrow trap and they want a tall trap and they want a long trap. So how, how, how narrow is narrow? Nine, 10 inches, 12 inches wide at the most probably. How tall? 16, 18 inches tall. So it's going to be a lot taller than it is wide because a bobcat has no trouble going into tight spaces. And then how long? I've seen all I've seen all different kinds of sizes, you know, 34 inches, 36, 40, 45. Uh, what you want is something a bobcat can feel comfortable in. There is a lot of uh, discussion and people have different views on the doors of a good cat trap. I personally think a guillotine style door is a better style door because the main reason I like it, both of them will catch a cat, whether it closes down like the old, you know, have a heart type thing, or a guillotine goes straight down like a guillotine. The reason I like it is if you have a hunting dog or a house dog or something, find the trap before the bobcat does, and he sticks his head in there and he starts working it, he'll set the trap off and a lot of his body is still out of the trap. And then the door will come down and, it, and it'll just... It'll just tap the dog on his back. Now, a, a dog's nature is when something unusual happens to him, he goes backwards. So the door will, will come down and tap the dog in the back. The, the dog will be in kind of a weird situation anyway because he realizes he's in some form of a cage and he's trying to get free food and something kind of slaps him on the back a little bit and then he can back out and the door will go down. So as a trapper, when I go up there, all I have to do is reset the trap. I don't have to turn the dog loose. I don't have to rebait, relure, and all that type of stuff. So that, to me, makes a really big difference. You want to make sure your door locks very well, even if it gets tilted one way or another. And uh, the trap I'm going to recommend towards the end of this video will definitely uh, has that going for it. The, the other big thing about what makes a good bobcat trap is the pan or the treadle, depends on your vernacular of how you want to look at these things, on the floor of the trap. So this is the base of, of the cat trap. And then you have a treadle or a pan that sticks up. The more it sticks up and the shorter that is, the more tendency a cat has to stop right in front of it and try to reach over and either steal the bait or just get its curiosity filled or something like that. A pan that has a very, a uh, trap that has a very low pan or a low treadle when you put your your material in there, whether it be leaves or straw or, or juniper duff or whatever you're doing or just sand or dirt, it doesn't give that can a line to stop at. And the trap that I would definitely recommend is, is one that I designed and I don't sell it, so I don't make a penny if you buy it, but um, it's got a pan that starts at the door and gradually goes up towards the back of the trap so the cat never knows that he's on anything else except the pan or normal dirt because you always want to use leaves and grass and pine straw whatever you have to make him think he's walking on the natural environment floor that he's on and by having the the pan that goes from the door out that allows that the the illusion that he's not going up or having to step on to something and and i think that makes a big difference with cats now, where to get this bobcat trap that I'm talking about is from Wildlife Control Supplies. 
They're out of Connecticut. It's wildlifecontrolsupplies.com. You, you can, they have several different ones. Uh, the one you'll see that I designed has got the, the long pan in there and it's a almost, it's a self-setting trap. You just raise the guillotine and it'll set itself. You put your stuff in the back. And you know, when it comes to cages, guys, location is, is an important thing. And you have to also have to realize whether you're trying to trap a male or a female cat you may not need to know that to begin with, but if you have a cat that, that gets around the cage two or three days, then all of a sudden you see tracks and just ignores that you're probably dealing with a female and she's already had her curiosity filled and she just won't go in the, the trap at that point. So a lot of times all you have to do with that is move it to the other side of the trail, change the flagging, change what you have on the trap as far as camouflage or blocking, put something different in the back, just make it look a little bit different or have it same set just over 20 feet and now it's new and, and exciting to the cat and the cat will go up there and start messing with it and then you can catch that cat again that's a tendency of females if they don't work the trap the first time you've got to kind of play games with them and move it around and change the looks to get them to go in there they're just being a female cat that's the way it is a lot of them just go straight in there but a lot of them don't now toms toms have a really big range and the, their home territory is so big. If you miss a male cat, just like with a foothold, most of the time you're gonna have to wait a long time before he gets back. And that's just the nature of the game. But you wanna place these, uh, a, a bobcat cage trap, you wanna place it on travel ways that they're gonna be hunting and moving through an area. And the easiest way to think of that is think of where your rabbits are, where it's a little bit thicker. It could be a, a creek or on the side of a river. It could be a draw or a coulee out west. It could be up next to a big rock wall when you get further out west. And it's places that there's food for the cat to be and shelter for the cat and, and a way for him to slink around and get his food. They're not gonna be so much out in the open fields and, and just on the roads and things like that. You have to put the cages where the cats are gonna be and then your success is really good. Now, like I said, I'm not saying you can't catch a, a bobcat and a big raccoon cage but I am saying your success at least in my opinion and I played around with these a lot is uh, one that's a little more narrow that's tall where a cat doesn't have to duck down or crawl into and gives him the length he needs where he feels like he can go in there comfortably and, and you, you cover the floor and you give him really good lure like cat collector or something in the back with some some booty call cat gland or cat urine something the smell of body of a cat and when it comes along, you'll be catching cats and everything's just good. And the, the trap that I recommended that you can get at uh, Wildlife Control Supplies, it's made of really good material, so it's not going to get tore apart and stuff. And if you go buy cheap traps, guys, when it comes to cats and big coons, you may save $20 here or $30 there, but you'll buy way more traps because the animals will tear them up. Buy quality when you get started. And then you just don't have to worry about that anymore. That's a great question because uh, cat traps are a little hard to find because they are different and they're not part of the mass market of the, the cage trap industry.